his uh, intentions were last night. And so at first it started out with me helping him. And I said, you know what, I'm going to let him find his stuff because he sounded like he got some, some good stuff going on. <laughs> so that's it. I'm going to find me some. So I found some scriptures uh, concerning spiritual leaders again. Uh, I remember uh, a little some years back in early Sunday school when I finally started getting something out of Sunday school about praying for the leaders that are over you. And when you're younger, you don't think about somebody standing up there pouring out every Sunday what they're giving up, what they're choosing to give up. Uh, like I see my mom sometimes when, when we would visit on a Saturday night, if my brothers was over visiting, we just told me, she said, I got to go get my scripture ready for tomorrow. And I'm thinking, I'm scripture ready for tomorrow. Uh, like, okay, so don't bother mom. She's getting her scripture ready for tomorrow for church. Uh, her being, uh, I think she has a, a, a teacher certificate. I forget what it's called for women. But uh, in, in that part of Georgia, they're not recognized as uh, uh, bishops or pastors. But she has a, a, a ministerial uh, minister uh, teaching certificate. Uh, she's called Mother Crumpton now. But I came up with First Thessalonians as one of the first scriptures that um, I found. It came up on uh, some stuff I found in Bible Gateway and uh, Google. And I'm going to read a little bit of First Thessalonians chapter 5. And it goes from verses 12 to 22 about uh, scriptures that honor spiritual leaders. And uh, this is going to be the New Living Translation. And uh, I chose that to kind of make it plain some of us that uh, I, sometimes I have a hard time understanding King James Version, so I'll look at two or three versions. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, in uh, verse 5, it states, uh, Now concerning how and when all of this happened, dear brothers and sisters, we don't really need to write you. It says, uh, Honor those who are the leaders in the Lord's work. Uh, in the Lord's work. Show them great respect and wholeheartedly love because of their work and live peacefully with each other. Brothers and sisters, we urge you to warn those who are lazy, encourage those who are timid, take tender care of those who are weak, be patient with everyone, see that no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. Always be joyful, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. That's um, up to, um, that's, yeah, that's, that's from 12 to 16. I'll stop right there because I have two or three others and I don't want to take up too much time. Because people might have other things that they need to say too. And, um, the next scripture I went through was 1 Timothy 5, 17 to, 17 to the 20th verse. It says, Let the elders who rule well be considered worthy double honor, especially those who labor in preaching and teaching. However, it occurs when spiritual leaders are called by this, they call it from God. Some people run from the calling. Okay. Roadblocks can be delayed with spiritual calling, i.e., uh, we go off to uh, our careers, like you going off to Vietnam. Uh, somebody may be getting a new job in another state. Uh, there's a reason for that roadblock or stumbling block or delay. Um, we look at um, leaders like um, Abraham. God had to get him away from his father to get him to where he needed him because his father was doing some things that God didn't want Abraham to be part of. So he had to keep his mind clear and focused on him. So he put him in a place where he needed him to be. Uh, look how Paul started out going from uh, uh, doing bad things to Christians to write what? One third of the New Testament. And I mean, that right there, people like, and they had their doubts about it. But in the end, uh, what I'm reading from is uh, parts that he wrote. And then I 
uh, when I was uh, reading Timothy.